Microsoft Teams is a chat-based workspace tool which allows you to do team conversations as well as one-on-one -on -one chat with your team members. You can also communicate and collaborate on documents by creating different teams in it. While discussing or planning with any of your colleagues in one-on-one -on -one chat, it might happen that you want to discuss it with some other colleague as well. In that case, instead of discussing it individually with him or her, you can simply add that colleague in one-on-one -on -one chat. With this, all three members will be able to discuss it more efficiently, saving your efforts and time. So let me show how you can add a member in a conversation in Microsoft Teams. For this, open your Microsoft Teams. You can use the desktop or online version of Microsoft Teams. Right now, I have opened the desktop application of Microsoft Teams. Once it will open, you will be able to see all the teams and channels of which you are part of. Now, I'll click on this chat icon in the navigation bar. So here you can see all my favorite chats that were marked as favorite by me previously. And here you can see some recent chats. So here you can see I have opened Anshita's chat over here. So I'll write a message for Anshita here. So I have sent these messages to Anshita. I'll click after writing message. I want to add Neha and Alan here as I want to discuss about Christmas celebrations with them also. For doing so, I'll click on add people icon at the top right corner of this page. Once I clicked on it, an add window will appear. Here I'll search for Neha's name. And I will search for Alan now. After this, I'll click on this option add. You can see a new conversation window will appear here. Here are three participants, Alan, Anshita and Neha. Now we all can easily communicate with each other and we can do planning for Christmas celebrations easily. So you can see new messages from Alan and Neha as well. So this is how we all can plan for an event efficiently and more effectively. So this is how we all can plan for an event efficiently and more effectively. Hope you like this feature. In case you face any trouble in getting it done, then do post your queries in comment section below. Do subscribe to our YouTube channel, Fortran Cloud Academy. Thank you.